Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have another really cool advertising item. This one, a money clip, which is also a knife. Says right there on the base of that blade, stainless steel, Japan. Pull the other side out and we have a nail file, two sides on it. And then the advertising, which says Fernand's Business Photo Methods. Then it has, looks like four towns listed. Baton Rouge, Beaumont, Galveston, and Orange and Port Arthur. And there are a series of phone numbers listed there, which may be of some interest to our friend Jen Kim again. He has mentioned that he is putting together a database trying to decipher if there was some sort of method to the madness of those phone numbers. There is some damage or where to the finish depends on how you look at it and in what light but what it appears to me is that basically the graphic here on the face of this advertising knife or money clip or fingernail file whichever you want to call it that it has lost some of its seal so you see some corrosion. There you can see where the light, there's kind of a re shiny reflection off of some of it from the light and the rest of it, these spots here, here, and here, the light does not necessarily reflect. So I think that is finished damage. Even though I am not certain that it is missing any of its paint, I think it is simply oxidation or corrosion from damage to the seal of the image or the graphic, whatever you call that. So the business was Fernand's business photo methods. And for the first time, I've seen that there's some kind of copy machine here but I just happened to read this. It's very small, and I didn't even realize there were words there before, but that looks to me like it says something cavalcade copier. I think there is a brand name above where it says cavalcade, but that is too small for me to see. I'll have to see if I can photograph that and get any better of an image of it. Maybe those aren't words above where it says cavalcade. But whatever it is, I'm certain that that is the name of this particular copy machine that the graphic is depicting. Really cool. I had one of these, uh, I believe by the same company. I don't remember if the part number was identical or how identical it was but I remember it having a KF in it. This looks to me like it says D60-KF84 so we'll have to see do a little bit of research before I list this to determine whether we can figure out a brand name from that. I don't believe there was a brand on any of the blades 
that one said stainless steel Japan. The file doesn't have any markings on it and no other markings on the money clip that I could see other than the D60-K4 or KF84. Interestingly, you can see a couple of small dots over here on either side where it looks like that is how this is pressed together and then those are ground down before it is plated I would assume. I'm not sure if that's picking up in the camera or not. See it right there and right there. Anyway, like I said it must be pressed together then somehow ground even plated but you guys know the normal caveat I am not a metals expert. I do believe that the face of this advertisement is brass that then has paint over the top of it and then as I mentioned earlier I think it was originally sealed and I think some of that seal has failed. I'm not an expert on these kind of finishes either so if anybody wants to comment if somebody has some insight into the process by which these sort of advertising items were made. The one that I had before was from Guthrie, Oklahoma and I believe it was the First National Bank of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Multicolor advertising graphic of the bank building itself that was very attractive and sold for a pretty good chunk of money compared to what I bought it for. This one I don't think will bring quite that much but uh, I expect it'll bring every bit of $30 or so in our eBay store. We'll probably be initially listed for $35 or $40 and of course not always. Occasionally I have an item that I feel like it's worth a certain price and I've got it priced there and I'm not going to take any less so I'll take the best offer option off of those listings sometimes but with the vast majority of my listings there's going to be a make offer so if you look at this and you really want it and the price seems a little bit too steep well just shoot me an offer. The worst thing that can happen is I decline. I could make you a counter offer. You just never know. This is a really interesting and also for someone who is interested in these old phone numbers there's certainly plenty of information packed on this one. So glad to find this item. Glad to offer it for sale in my store. A vintage money clip, knife, fingernail file, advertiser with a really cool graphic of an old copy machine. Until next time.